we have to uh, work hard with uh, fungal disease to manage resistance to fungicides. Um, for example, in sugar beets, we had very limited registered fungicides available. We were losing effectiveness of one of them. The other was uh, highly, um, highly likely to get resistance. And um, we really had to educate growers to rotate chemical families, even if they thought the other chemicals weren't going to be as strong as, uh, as one, that uh, we were going to lose them all if we didn't rotate. A kickback fungicide, uh, that means it has some activity on an infection that's already started. Uh, it has to be a very recently started infection. It's not going to cure uh, a crop that's uh, riddled with disease. So it's not something to rely on. And um, it, it's associated with uh, systemic fungicides, but often farmers will think, oh, it's systemic, it's going through the whole plant. But in actual fact, some of them only might move from one side of the leaf to the other, or uh, you know, an inch or less in the plant and um, only very few specific fungicides move downward in a plant. Uh, the ones that do move a little farther only will move upward in the uh, stream of, of uh, water in the plant.